Hey guys, welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome Mac transporter called Lightning McQueen Runaway Racer from Disney Pixar Cars. This set is exclusive to the Disney Store. Here's the back of the package. As you can see, it retailed for $29.50 in the US. Let's take these cars out of the package. Here they are out of the package. Let's take a look at Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. As you can see, he has this really nice metallic or Ransburg red paint. It looks really awesome on this one. And to me, I think it really matches the color of how he looked in the movie. Also, it has gray windows, which is quite uncommon, at least with Mattel cars. However, these are Disney store cars. And on the base, it says Disney Pixar made in China. Now on to Dinoco McQueen. Dinoco McQueen appeared in one of Lightning McQueen's daydreams when he daydreamed that he became the Dinoco Racer. As you can see he is in this Dinoco blue color but he still has his normal 95 and lightning bolt. However instead of Rusty's he now has a big Dinoco logo on the hood and on the sides and on the spoiler. Again it has gray windows. And again on the base it says Disney Pixar made in China. Let me just unhitch Mac and we'll look at the semi by itself. Okay here he is. As you can see he has this really nice red color and a very excited expression. I really like how this one gets the lightning bolt on the side correctly. However, I will say the hitch on the back does not look very realistic. I do wish that was better. And this Mac is missing a few things. It's missing the mirrors and it's also missing the lights on top of his hat. On the base it says Disney Pixar made in China. And it also says Mac. And you can see he has some nice chrome tanks on the side, which looks really nice. Now for the trailer, 
The nice thing about this trailer comparing to the Mattel playset is that this one actually has decals. They're not stickers. The only problem with this is that there are some logos on it that you can see on the back here. It actually says Disney Pixar Made in China on the decal. So I would highly recommend trying to cover that up so that it doesn't show. And on this side it also says Mac, which is kind of unappealing. And there are a bunch of screw holes for the screws to screw into to keep this trailer together. That being said, the quality of these decals looks really nice. And I really like how this one actually says Rusty's on the top. I still highly recommend getting this because of the scale and the quality of this is still very nice. This Radiator Springs McQueen appears in Cars when McQueen returns to Radiator Springs at the end of the movie and surprises Sally at the Wheelwell Motel. I find it very interesting how this pack doesn't come with a regular Rusty's Lightning McQueen. However, I know there is another version of this same playset with that, so I'm not complaining. The proportions of this Mac trailer are exceptionally well done. I think it will really look well with your 155 scale die casts. Now even though this was made by the Disney store, it is actually not made in the 143 scale, so this will not be in scale with your Disney store die casts. Here is Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen in comparison with a Mattel Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen and as you can see the scale is very similar. This Disney Store release is just a tiny bit larger however I think his proportions are more accurate to the movie so I actually think that this is a more proportionate McQueen with other 155 scale die casts. That being said the cars in this pack actually are not die cast they are plastic However, I think the quality is very well because I have tested out the launcher and none of these cars seem to have any trouble with that. Again, Dynaco McQueen, like Radiator Springs McQueen, is also a little bit larger than the Mattel version. However, I do think that the color on this looks a little bit too vibrant. I actually think Mattel got the Dynaco blue color better. Tell me in the comment section below if you prefer the Mattel or Disney Store version of Lightning McQueen. These Disney Store Lightning McQueens measure 3 and 3 8 inches long by 1 and a half inches wide and he's an inch tall. Mac measures just about 5 inches long by 2 and an eighth inches wide and he's just under 3 inches tall. The trailer measures 11 inches long by 2 and an eighth inches wide and the whole hauler measures 15 inches long. 
Although the details inside the trailer are paper stickers, it is nice that the telephones appear on both sides just like in the movie. And here's a picture of Mattel Lightning McQueen with Mac. To open the launcher, just simply press the button on top of the hauler and put your McQueen inside. Make sure it clicks back. Then close the trailer door and press the button two times to make him go. As you can see, this launcher works great with both these Disney Store cars and Mattel diecasts. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please tell me in the comment section below what you think of this Mac hauler. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this video with your friends. We'll see you next time.